Thank you for coming back to We The People News. Please subscribe, please leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel, allowing me to do this. Thank you so much. Bitcoin, WhatsApp, cryptocurrency of any kind that you'll see in my comment section with a picture of me and a variation of my name. Please know that that garbage is not me. That is a scammer. If you do not see the check beside my name, it is not me. If you didn't see yesterday's video, please go back and watch it. There's a lot of good stuff in it I don't want you to miss, and it would help me out a lot, too. Thank you so much. Okay. Happy Sunday morning to y'all. Uh, we got a lot to do today. We're going to get cleaned up here and get ready for church. After church, we're going to go uh, pick up my granddaughter and probably just go to the beach or something. But, uh... We're going to make it a good day. I hope y'all can make it a good day wherever you're at, whatever your situation is. I hope it will allow for you to make a good Sunday with your friends, with your family. Or if you like to go to church, just a good day at church. But it's up to you, whatever you do. I mean, you know what makes you happy. That's all that really counts right now is being happy. Y'all, I don't really have any political stuff to tell you today I'm gonna get away from doing that on Sunday uh, one day a week I think we can survive without that kind of stuff but I will always be here on Sundays to make a, a little video y'all uh, I don't have a lot to say like I said but uh, I'm going to go right into playing a couple of my wife's videos just as soon as this mouth quits running couple of my wife's videos is going to start playing uh i hope you'll check them out i hope you'll stick around and listen to them uh she has a a daily channel where she makes these videos and this is the the first five uh right now she's up to like number 59 but this is the first five i hope you like it please check them out and go to her channel and subscribe just know I love you all. Keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through all of this stuff. Say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for our leaders. Say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. Just know I love you all. Until next time. Ciao. Hello. Good morning. I'm Amy Wyvern. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the thumbs up and please comment. Thank you for watching my video. This is a daily inspirational reading that I will read to you every day. <clears throat> if anyone is in Christ, the new creation has come. The old has gone, the new is here. A fresh start. Chinese New Year celebration are observed by Chinese families everywhere. These festivities are tied to the lunar calendar, usually falling somewhere in late January to mid-February. These times for family reunions come with many traditions, some of great significance. Buying and donning new clothes giving our homes a good cleaning and paying off outstanding debts remind us we're putting the past behind and starting the year with a clean slate. These traditions also remind me of our new life in Christ. No matter who used to be or what we've done, we can put it all behind us. We can stop beating ourselves up over our past and let go of the guilt, knowing we're completely forgiven because of Jesus' death on the cross. And we can start afresh, knowing we can rely on the Holy Spirit to daily to transform us to be more like Jesus. That's why Paul reminds believers the old has gone, the new is here. We too can say this because of the simple but powerful truth. God has reconciled us to himself 
through Jesus Christ and no longer counts, as, counts our sins against us. Others around us may not be willing to forget our past wrongdoing, but we can take heart that in God's eyes we're no longer condemned. As Paul points out, if God is for us, who can be against us? Let's enjoy, enjoy the fresh start He's given us through Jesus. How can you remind yourself that you're fully forgiven because of Jesus' death on the cross? How can you encourage new believers to start life afresh? Let us pray. Thank you, Jesus, for your saving work on the cross that reconciles me to God and gives me a new life in you. Amen. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and leave your comments. Thank you, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a nice day, and God bless everyone. Hello, good morning. I'm Amy Wyvern. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the thumbs up and please comment. Thank you for watching my video. This is a daily inspirational reading that I will read to you every day. A humble posture. I say to the Lord, You are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good things. Keep your hands beside behind your back you'll be fine that's the loving admonition Jan's husband always gave before she ventured off to speak to a group when she found herself trying to impress people or seeking to control a situation she'd adapt this posture because it puts her in a teachable listening frame of mind she used it to remind herself to love those before her and to be humble and available to the Holy Spirit. Jan's understanding of humility is rooted in King, King David's observation that everything comes from God. David said to God, You are my Lord. Apart from you, I have no good things. He learned to trust God and seek his counsel. Even at night my heart in instructs me. He knew that with God next to him he'd not be shaken. He didn't need to puff himself up because he trusted in the mighty God who loved him. As we look to God each day, asking him to help us when we feel frustrated or to give us words to speak when we feel tongue-tied. We'll see Him at work in our lives. We'll partner with God, as Jen says, and we'll realize that if ever done well, it's because God has helped us flourish. We can look at others with love, our hands clasped behind our backs in a posture of humility to remind us that everything we have comes from God. How do you feel when you place yourself in a humble posture before someone else? How could you depend on God to help you with the task before you today? Let us pray. Creator God, you created the world and all that's within it, and yet you love me and want to use me for your glory. Help me to look to you for help and strength. Amen. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and leave your comments. Thank you, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a nice day, and God bless everyone. Good morning everyone, I'm Amy Wyvern, welcome to my channel, please subscribe and hit the thumbs up and please comment. Thank you for watching my video, this is a daily inspirational reading 
that I will read to you every day. Back to the basics. Resolutions, it seems, are made to be broken. Some folks poke fun at this reality by proposing New Year's vows that are, shall we say, attainable. Here are a few from social media. Wave to fellow motorists at stoplights. Sign up for a marathon. Don't run it. Stop procrastinating tomorrow. Get lost without any help from Siri. And friend everyone who posts the workout regimen. The concept of a fresh start can be serious business, however. The exiled people of Judah desperately needed one. Just just over two decades into their 70 year captivity. God brought encouragement to them through the prophet Ezekiel, promising, I will now restore the fortunes of Jacob. But the nation first needed to return to the basics. The instructions God had given to Moses 800 years earlier. This included observing a feast of the new year. For the ancient Jewish people that began in early spring, a major purpose of their festivals was to remind them of God's character and His expectations. He told their leaders, Give up your violence and oppression and do what is just and right. And He and he insisted on honesty. The lesson applies to us too. Our faith must be into practice or it's worthless. In this new year, as God provides what we need, may we live out our faith by returning to the basics. Love the Lord your God and love your neighbor as yourself. In what do you sense you need to get back to the basics? How will you put this into practice into the new year? Let us pray. Father, may your spirit show me the places where I need to put others before myself. Help me love you with all my heart. Amen. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and leave your comments. Thank you, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a nice day. God bless everyone. Hello, good morning. I'm Amy Wyvern. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the thumbs up, and please comment. Thank you for watching my video. This is a daily inspirational reading that I will read to you every day. Brave your storm. Fix your eyes on Jesus so that you will not grow weary and lose heart. It was the evening of April 3, 1968, and a fierce thunderstorm was lasting through Memphis, Tennessee. Weary and feeling ill, the Reverend Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. had an intended to give his planned speech in support of the striking sanitation workers at a church hall. But he was surprised by an urgent phone call saying a large crowd had braved the weather to hear him. So he went to the hall and spoke for 40 minutes, delivering what some say was his greatest speech. I've been to the mountain top. The next day, King was killed by an assassin's bullet, but his speech still inspires oppressed people with the hope of the promised land. Likewise, early followers of Jesus were uplifted by a stirring message. The book of Hebrews, written to encourage Jewish believers facing threats for their faith in Christ, offers firm spiritual encouragement to not lose hope as it urges 
strengthen your feeble arms and weak knees. They would recognize that appeal as originally coming from the prophet Isaiah. But now, as Christ's disciples, we're called to run with perseverance the race marked out for us, fixing our eyes in Jesus, the pioneer and perfecter of faith. When we do so, we will not grow weary and lose heart. Certainly, squalls and storms await us in this life, but in Jesus, we at last life's tempest by standing in Him. How do you respond to life's spiritual storms? As you look to Jesus and His promises, how does He encourage you? Let us pray. Jesus, you calm every spiritual storm. When tempest rages. speak peace to my soul as I put my hope in you. Amen. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and leave your comments. Thank you, and I will see you tomorrow. Have a nice day. God bless everyone. Hello, good morning. I'm Amy Wyburn. Welcome to my channel. Please subscribe and hit the thumbs up and please comment. Thank you for watching my video. This is a daily inspirational reading that I will read to you every day. Darkness and Light I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me will never walk, walk in darkness but we'll have the light of life. As I sat in the courtroom, I witnessed several examples of the brokenness of our world. A daughter estranged from her mother, a husband and wife who'd lost the love they once had and now shared only bitterness. A husband who yearned to be reconciled with his wife and to be reunited with his children. They desperately needed changed hearts, heal wounds, and for God's love to prevail. Sometimes when the world around us seems to hold only darkness and despair, it's easy to give in to despair. But then the Spirit, who lives inside believers in Christ, reminds us that Jesus died for the brokenness and pain. When he came into the world as a human, he brought light into the darkness. We see this in his conversation with Nicodemus, who furtively came to Jesus in the cover of darkness, but left impacted by the light. Jesus taught Nicodemus that God so loved the world that he gave his one and only Son that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have eternal life. Yet even though Jesus brought light and love into the world, many remain lost in the darkness of their sin. If we're his followers, we have the light that dispels darkness. In gratitude, let's pray that God will make us beacons of his love. When has your hope been renewed through remembering that God loves you? How can you share Christ's light with others? Let us pray. Thank you, God, for coming to save me from the darkness of sin and despair. Help me to remain in your light. Amen. If you like this video, please don't forget to hit the thumbs up subscribe and leave your comments thank you and i will see you tomorrow have a nice day and god bless everyone